Hi, my name is Danielle Dockery and I'm an Applications Engineer here at MicroMeasurements. This short video covers surface preparation for strain gauge installation on steel or aluminum alloys. Properly prepared surfaces are required for the strong, stable bonds necessary for the transmission of surface strains to the gauge. The steps to be covered include the following. Degreasing, abrading, burnishing of layout lines, conditioning, and neutralizing. In front of me are all the items needed for surface preparation. M-Prep CSM degreaser, silicon carbide paper 320 and 400 grit, M-Prep conditioner A, M-Prep neutralizer 5A, cotton tip applicators, gauze sponges, a straight edge, and a 4H pencil. Before beginning, always check the expiration date of the chemicals being used. Next, wash your hands and then clean your work surface with Neutralizer 5A. Now we are ready to begin the five steps to proper surface preparation. Step one is degreasing. Spray CSM degreaser into a gauze sponge and then wipe the specimen thoroughly. Discard any soiled gauze to prevent recontamination. Continue until the sponge comes up clean. After degreasing, the next step is abrading. First, dry abrade with 320 grit silicon carbide paper. Then flood the gauging area with M-Prep Conditioner A and wet abrade with 320 grit silicon carbide paper. followed by 400 grit paper. Dry the specimen with a gauze sponge by wiping away from the gauging area. Remember, do not wipe back and forth as this will recontaminate the gauging area. The next step in surface preparation is burnishing. With a clean straight edge and a 4H pencil, firmly burnish a layout line while holding the pencil perpendicular to the surface. For harder specimens, use a ballpoint pen. A perpendicular line may also be needed for additional alignment. After burnishing alignment marks, the next step is conditioning. Using a liberal amount of M-Prep Conditioner A, remove all graphite from the burnished layout lines by scrubbing along the line with a cotton tip applicator. Continue scrubbing and discard any soiled applicators as needed. Then wipe the area dry with a clean gauze sponge. The final step in surface preparation is neutralizing. Use M-Prep Neutralizer 5A to provide the proper surface pH for strong bonds with most strain gauge adhesives. Flood the entire gauging area and scrub thoroughly with cotton tip applicators. Once clean, wipe the area dry using a gauze sponge. The specimen is now prepared for gauge installation. Make sure the gauge is installed within 30 minutes to minimize recontamination and oxidation. Instruction Bulletin B129, available from our website, will provide installation steps for additional material types.